टेन थाउजेंड देन योर ए पी आई विल टेक मोर टाइम टू प्रोसेस दैट वन ना नंबर ऑफ रिकॉर्ड विल इंक्रीज देन योर ए पी आई नीड मोर टाइम टू प्रोसेस दैट रिकॉर्ड ओके सो नाउ वंस दिस ऑल द थ्रेड विल कंप्लीट दिस ऑल द बैचेज वन बाई वन फॉर बैच स्टेप वन देन इट विल स्टार्ट टेकिंग इन टू बैच टू सॉरी बैच स्टेप टू सो वंस दिस टू विल बी कंप्लीटेड then it will go for on complete so here we generate report how many passed here how many failed like that okay is it clear to everyone so it should you should explain this part also whatever he answered he answered perfectly but this part was missing so you need to explain this part so this will give them detail like you have in depth knowledge of this batch batch processing Other thing, batch step and batch aggregator. He batch on complete. He mentioned correctly. Like inside batch processor, we do processing of record one by one. Once we will do all the processing. If you want aggregated result, then you need to configure inside batch aggregator. Okay. And then once batch step will complete its execution, it will go to on complete. So inside on complete, we generate report. How many success? How many failed? Like that. Okay, so I proceed. Okay, fine then. So we are done with this. Uh, so that one watch twelfth. So for twelfth, you need to improve Nagis yourself. In that uh, initial part you need to include. Then thirteen, flow reference you answered perfectly. Ten out of ten. Fourteen, M unit. Okay, M unit part you explain, but uh, you should not tell like error handler and error scenario you tested with uh, this uh, from postman. You should tell them you worked on M unit recorder, but only error scenario you did manually. Okay, if you don't know how to do manually, learn this process. But other part you can say I covered everything using M unit recorder. Error handling scenario I did using this. Uh, manually you should not say i you used postman to test error scenario otherwise how you will achieve this 80% or 90 percentile of code coverage okay sure then 15th what challenge you faced in your project this one also you answered but you haven't answered in perfect way so for this part actually i will create one script and i will give to everyone i will create two three challenging scenario since uh, I, as per my understanding most of you are not from news of background so maybe you haven't encounter this so i will give my scenario where i encounter this so i will script two three scenario and i will give you okay so that you can understand and we will discuss that later on next uh, 16 what is domain project yeah this one uh, you haven't answered so actually domain project is uh, like we used to create inside this on prem deployment model where we keep all the common repository like if you have common configuration if you have common schema if you have common error handling so all those thing we put inside domain project and newsoft cloud hub or other deployment model will not support this domain project why since in on prem deployment on model only all the resource will be shared resource with all the application resource will be shared within all the application okay in on prems also now we have to kind of if you are using this open shift and all then again it will be similar to cloud up so there also you will not able to use this domain project but if you are using like uh, only you are not using any kind of docker concept if it is a shared resource then you can use this domain project okay so first of all like domain project we use we used to create inside on prem deployment model where you will keep all the common repository or shared resource like uh, configuration detail properties detail then common schema common examples common java code or anything that you want to keep okay and limitation you will tell them it's uh, only we will use we will able to use in on prem deployment model cloud hub and rtf will not support this okay and why since in cloud hub and rtf model each worker is treated as separate machine or separate system so if it is separate system then you will not able to use 
resource available in one worker in another worker so all resource will be individual okay so this part you need to improve uh, like whatever you answered it that will be 2 out of 10 fine so next 17 what all security policy yeah that one you answered perfectly that one is good then api monitoring that you answered correctly only so in api monitoring you can explore a bit more and you can make it like you can explain everything like in api monitoring you will get cpu usage ram usage then you will get thread usage also you will get sla like how many systems which application is taking how much time so all those kind of detail you will get inside api monitoring okay so whatever you answer that was 7 out of 10 you can add more things there then mule 3 and mule 4 difference that one yeah you answer perfectly you mentioned like three four point and uh, those, all those are important point only so that one was good then cicd part yeah you mentioned like you have separate thing that's uh, like genuine answer you you meant like many places they have separate thing but you should have some basic knowledge like you should mention you you like you don't know jenkins script but you know how to use that platform how to start build and how to start de deployment on the, like uh, jenkins and how to see log and failure you can you you know that thing you should mention that part okay then scatter gather that scenario based question you answer correctly and for error handling also you answered very perfectly like uh, that scenario based question okay and then map and map object function uh, in map object function uh, you mentioned like it will uh, like it will take input as a object and it will give output as a object but you should tell internally also like how this map function iterate on each element of array same way map object function iterate on each element of object and it do require processing whatever you will define okay then plug function yeah you mentioned correctly like map object function will take object as a input and it will give object as a output and it will it will iterate on each element of object plug function will take objects as a input and it will create an array as a output okay then last question was on reduce function how you can get accumulative value of array then you will use reduce function okay that you need to answer okay so we are done with this discussion anyone want to exp like uh, anyone want explanation of any question let me yeah one question here uh you can use your reference from subflow right ah uh, sorry sorry can you tell me again you s I, I thought you said like you can use flow reference from subflow right yes what is the use like uh, if you do s reference to subflow from the main flow what is the point of having a flow reference from subflow no no if you have we have scenario? requirement i just ask is this possible or not if you somewhere you have requirement you have one subflow okay and from this subflow i want to call this child flow is it possible or not even let me check I agree it should be possible but very rarely we use okay got it this one is child flow okay so I ask is it possible or not from subflow I can call this child flow or not so this is possible and how we will okay. which component you will use flow reference component it's not like a real uh, a real use case right it's just like it can be possible for example you define some flow and you want to reuse that flow use from sub some from any sub flow it, it can be possible but very rarely okay okay uh, Ravi, can you tell about uh, clearly on uh, 
JWT and what uh, policies, okay. security. Okay, if you want detail, then maybe we can discuss in next session since uh, we are done with today's session. So I will give you detail then. Uh, I, I will explain in detail like how these two policy work and how to configure these two policy. Okay. 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 So, yeah. Uh, for first session, actually, we took lots of time, but it's okay. We learned a lot. And this one, uh, like uh, looking as per my expectation. So previously, I used to explain this question, but I converted in mock interview. So one person will get one mock interview experience, plus we will discuss all the questions. So I think this one is good way to proceed. So you can also give your feedback if anyone want to do in different way, or we are good with this way. okay fine so i hope everyone good with this way so let's continue from tomorrow so from tomorrow we will have two mock interview and whoever will be interested just let me know at the starting of session and it will be good for you if someone is thinking i will skip this interview then you will learn no doubt you will learn but you will not get confidence okay so if you want to get more confidence if you want to clear interview then try to involve in this as much as okay Okay, fine then. Thanks everyone. Let's connect tomorrow on same time. Yeah. Thanks, Ravi. Thanks, Ravi. Answers also, Ravi, or how it? I will share recording only. Okay, I will share recording for initial two day recording will be public from next day or uh, like third day onward. Recording will be private. I will give you Git access and not Git access. I will give you private link access. Okay. I will collect your email ID. So initial two day, you don't need any access. I will upload on YouTube and I will share link on this our private group. But uh, next day onward, uh, once I will start making it private, then I will collect your email ID and I will give access there. Okay. okay, fine then. Thanks everyone. Bye. Thanks everyone.